A young life cut short by gun violence. It is a far too common occurrence for families right here in St. Louis. Today, loved ones and friends of eight year old Journey Thompson gathered for her visitation and funeral. She was shot and killed late last month while leaving a high school football game. Her murder remains unsolved. It's one of many unsolved killings of children in St. Louis this summer. The violence is causing some community leaders to look for unconventional ways to combat crime. New at 10 tonight, Ashley Lincoln shows us how one group is trying to make a difference. These are youth in our area that have been um, killed by guns. Their faces of children under the age of 20, showing the staggering number of kids that have died as a result of gun violence in St. Louis over the years. It shouldn't happen. We shouldn't have this and it's it's time to change. Paige Walden Johnson, director of Community Arts STL, says that's why they're reaching out to the community, intervening with youth to heal trauma that could lead to crime. But what art does and why they need it is because this allows them to express, allow their feelings to come out in a safe manner so they can breathe and think about what they're going to do before they decide to hurt someone else. Saturday, they held a workshop geared towards giving teens outlets to generate discussions about youth mental health. It gets built up, it gets pent up, and it comes out as violence. So far this year, at least 12 kids have died from gun violence. All the kids just dang. It's terrible. Devation Powell's three-year-old daughter, Kennedy Powell, was killed in a drive-by shooting. And two months later, he says his eight-year-old cousin, Journey Thompson, an SLPS student, was killed in a sold-in football game. I didn't never know how it feel to lose a child because I never lost a child until I actually did. And now you grieve it. Even if it's a song or movie, it's just going to trigger it. So it's going to have you emotional. St. Louis Metropolitan Police say no arrests have been made in the cases involving children. Last month, city leaders issued a plea to the public for tips, offering a Crime Stoppers reward for information, leading to an arrest in these cases. So far, police say no arrests have been made. And although it might be small, Johnson says she plans to continue doing her part through a program to prevent teens from committing these crimes. We've put millions of dollars into violence prevention in the past five years. We need to change and we need to do something about it. Ashley Lincoln, News 4.